This arid and sparsely populated landscape is just outside of Abilene, Texas. And today we're going to go scuba diving in an underwater Cold War relic. After the Second World War, the United States and the Soviet Union, both with their opposing ideologies, began to face off and build an incredible amount of tension between the two superpowers. This of course led to the stockpiling and development of massive amounts of nuclear weapons on both sides. Today we're going to dive in a facility that used to house an intercontinental ballistic missile that was not only equipped with a nuclear warhead but was pointed directly at Moscow. This nuclear missile silo was decommissioned in the 1960s and later purchased by a private buyer and since then has filled in with groundwater creating a perfect opportunity to develop one of the most unique dive sites that's available here in Texas. This is known as Valhalla Dive Center. As an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States requiring a full retaliatory response on the Soviet Union. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. In order to get down to the water, you'll find yourself navigating through the bunker and down a variety of sketchy and somewhat unstable stairs. And let's not forget Newton's diving law. What gets carried down to the water must also be carried back up again. And as always, we do a quick pre-dive check before we begin our descent. The visibility of the water looks to be about 30 to 40 feet, but in reality it could be much better because it's a very dark environment and there's just not a whole lot of light to illuminate the background. Either way you can't see the other side of the wall as you're making your descent, and you're descending into a perfectly round tube which can make it a little bit disorienting. As we hit the bottom, you can see that we're now at a depth of about 100 feet. You can see that the bottom is filled with metallic debris that was once used to house and launch the missile. Due to a local drought, the water level is about 10 to 15 feet lower than it normally is. So if you plan on paying this place a visit, you can expect it to be potentially deeper. As we approach our NDL limit, we signal each other to begin making our way back up. As we're making our way back up, we veer off over to the side to explore this structure. It's a good opportunity to slow our ascent and take some good photos. And Alex is taking a look at this interesting plaque that tells us today the apocalypse has been brought to you by General Dynamics.
And that's gonna wrap this one up. If you ever have the chance to come here, I highly recommend you making this trip. The water's gonna be 62 degrees year round, so if you do make this trip, be prepared for some cold water. You can see that most of us in this video are diving dry. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button, and I can't wait to see you on the next dive. Thanks for watching. It shall be the policy of this nation to regard any